Welcome to a Lumion live stream tutorial for mastering Lumion 8's new features. And in this tutorial, we're going to cover the new tilt shift effect in that's released with Lumion 8. This is Chris Walton from C Walton Design. And so let's go ahead and jump into our scene here. I'll be able to demonstrate this effect, um, how it works. And I have some awesome examples I want to show off because I, I hadn't really heard of this before. Tilt shift was something that was new to me, although I know I've seen it before, but the more I've looked into it, I, I find it incredible, and now it's it's awesome that we can add it in Lumion. So really quick, you know, I'm going to show off really quick these videos. You can even see right here what these are called, but these are demonstrating real tilt shift photography, which is actually a really complicated thing here. And this is actual footage, and as you can see, this is being combined with a time lapse. It just makes everything look like a little model. You know, you see the edges are blurred, and then there's only one part that's in focus. I just love this look. And if I hadn't really known about it before, I would have said, "Man, that'd be awesome in Lumion." But the reverse happened, and we have it in Lumion. And I learned about how awesome it is. So, there's one example. I'll put links to these videos I just found by quickly searching here you can see the blurred edges and only a certain part is in focus here and this is done with time-lapse great combination it just makes everything look so interesting you used to be able to kind of get this effect with Lumion's depth of field I mean you can but it was a lot more work you had to get depth of field can only go so far but now it's easier than ever with Lumia. It looks like little toy helicopters. Anyways, we can watch that forever. And there's really beautiful um, stills um, taken with that as well. They just make real life things look like uh, look like look like little models, which is a lot of times a really cool concept to show off our buildings. And so, in this tutorial, we're starting in Villa Mansi. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a path here. Our own camera path. Oops. We have a overriding two-point perspective on here. Let's just turn off all the effects on the entire movie so we can work freely. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to do a shot from up here. And we'll just orbit in here just to kind of get an idea. <clears throat> Have a nice path here. All right, so there's our path. So the tilt shift effect is added here, and it's in the camera tab. And it's a very end tilt shift. It's very easy to use and well set up. And the way they kind of have it in Lumion is this let's turn the amount up so that's with it off if you turn it all the way up you can see there's like a band of focus here I'm not sure how that's if that's exactly how it works in real life but it makes it easy to work with in Lumion at least so we have four sliders here makes it a pretty simple effect obviously amount shows here we're gonna keep it up so we can really see what the other ones do now it's set like right in the center of our frame here and what the shift is gonna do is it's gonna move it up or down and you see that band so whatever we will have in focus we want that needs to be in that band obviously now the problem is our building right now is kind of at a weird different angle than the, than right here so we do have a rotate a rotate slider going on right here so you can rotate it and get it on that building there now and the sharp, what the sharp area size does is that changes the size of our focus. By default, it's that little thin line, but we can open that up to be able to grab more of our building. And so here's kind of an example. I think we need to shrink it a little bit, adjust it, get that building in there. And that kind of gets the idea. There's probably... A lot of time that can get taken into it to adjust the rotation as we go with the camera here to kind of keep that focus. Maybe let's try another shot where we're just going straight across the front. 
just like that. Slower. Let's add. Let's just add one of our presets here. Let's get a nice dawn effect. Not quite that low. Get something dramatic. And it looks like our shadows aren't quite reaching. There we go. All right, so let's add the tilt shift effect. Here we go. Shift it right about there where we want to focus. Maybe widen it a tiny bit. We don't need to rotate. And that's kind of the idea. In fact, let's start with the amount at zero and have it go to full. So you kind of get a range. <clears throat> All right, so there's how it would look normally. And as we gradually get that, you see how it starts to create that little mini model effect here. And if we had kind of people moving around, kind of had like a time lapse effect. Let's add the sun study. Ooh, wow, that's nice. Um, start here. Just have it go through a whole day. Something like this. And we get that nice shot. So that's kind of cool. So that's our tilt shift effect. Pretty simple to work with. Be careful with how you use it. Don't overuse it. Um, but if done right, it's I think it could be really powerful. You know, combine this with say styrofoam effect. If we can get this just right. It's a little too bright. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cool. It's a really interesting effect, looking wise. Kind of look like we're looking at a little model. I mean, it's great for um, when the the model is in um, the designs in an early phase. We don't want to show too much detail, and we kind of want to get that. That's kind of our artistic choice. And there's probably other reasons too to really kind of force that tilt shift. I have used it on a time lapse I've done myself, which is something I might have to talk about later. My kind of experimentation with time lapse in Lumion. So I'm going to show off really quick a little render, um, kind of like a showcase of some things I've done just already pre rendered. It shows up in here in, in the window and you kind of get an idea, but this is what somebody, this is a bunch of different projects with tilt shift on that we're just going to kind of play and watch. So starting with this one I had played with before, didn't render at full quality settings, but it's a really, really cool effect. I, I love it and maybe some people don't like it, I don't know. It's definitely worth playing with and if the, uh, the project calls for something like that, I'd say go for it. These are some pretty extreme examples. I love it on the styrofoam here. All of these are preset Lumion uh, scenes. But this last one here is one I kind of built. Uh, it's from a preset, but it's also a time lapse that I created. Where I've gone through the whole day and kind of magnified that tilt shift to kind of create kind of what we were seeing. And I know you can. It's just repeating here. So anyways, that's the tilt shift effect. Play with it guys. It's it's awesome. It's it's really useful, it's powerful, and it's easy to to manipulate and work with. Alright, and so please like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more videos like this, and leave a comment for any future tutorials you would like me to cover. Alright, and thanks for watching and until next time guys.